New 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 portable HDMI setup, so maybe I can do, like, new cam. Oh, that'd be awesome. You want to do that? Yeah. Okay, we'll do that next time. Okay. I ran out of time this week, but I'll do new cam. No, no, I know exactly yeah, what you're You know what do. I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Okay. They're so gonna get. Of, they're going to be like, we're vomiting, Phil, from the newness. Ain't no Arduino book like a Simon Monk Arduino book. Simon Monk, he's got second edition of the programming Arduino, getting started with Sketches Guide. I really like this book. He's Monk. He's Monk. He's Monk. He's, he's in my head. head. He's Monk. He's Monk. monk. He says save 10% off with hammerheads. Nice. I'm here all week. Um, this book is a really good book. It, it covers the basics. He's a great teacher. He's written a lot of our guides. Uh, his second edition is updated. Has, you know, uh, Arduino's IDE has changed, updated, gotten better. So has this book. Yeah. So I thought okay. I'd toss in. All right. Next up. You ready? Mm-hmm. Particle man, particle man. Okay, so we have a whole particle. bunch of these, and I'll explain. We're actually going to get a whole bunch more <laughs> particle stuff. We have three versions of the same We're basic of particles. product. Three different particles of the same particle family. So these are the cellular particles, asset kit. It's basically a, a cellular plus GPS plus accelerometer plus battery. Basically, you know, it's a, it's a tracker, and you can use the particle service you know, they have their own like, dashboard uh, data service. Yeah. Um, although, fastest, of course... Fastest way to get started with a lot of IoT projects. Yes, yeah, it's a great IoT kit. Comes even with a <clears throat> super cool goth weatherproof case. Um, I even helped design the uh, asset tracker thing that they get, that GPS. The reason it looks a little bit like an Adafruit product is because hmm. I, uh, I helped them design it. It looked familiar. Yeah. I see some Lady Ada fingerprints on Yeah, this. it's got that little lady in us. Okay. Um, okay, so we've got three versions. So first off, each version comes with um, a cellular module, yeah. like this This cellular. Can we go to these yet? Well, they're all the same, so let's just look at this list one to start. Okay. Because you can't really tell the difference, honestly. So it's got this um, particle electron. It's got a cellular modem. It's got a battery plug, and it's got a microcontroller that's running this particle um, web controlled uh, IDE so you can program it and communicate with it over cellular. It's actually, you can do it locally with your USB cable, but you're also um, able to do it over cellular networks. So this is a full... That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a deployable, like, remote device. So in and of itself, that is pretty cool. So you get this, um, you know, cellular IoT board, this is the easiest cellular mm -hmm. IoT board in existence, as far as I can tell. Um, they're a really nice design. It's very compact, but it's very full-featured. Um, there's three versions. There's the 2G version. The 2G version is quad band and it works worldwide. It works everywhere in the world. However, the 2G network in America is going to be, um, the AT&T half is going to be shut down and T-Mobile will be the only GSM provider. Yeah. Now, personally, Lady Ada, I don't believe they're going to, that Ting is going to shut down, sorry, Ting, which is our, distributor of T-Mobile. It's a virtual carrier. It's yeah. a virtual carrier of T-Mobile. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't believe that T-Mobile is going to shut down the GSM network anytime before 2020 hmm. because there are millions of trucks, cars, devices. Yeah. here on the show tonight. They haven't said, but they're, it's pre, I, I believe that they're not going to shut it down until yeah. at least 2020. They're predictions get, about the future are hard. It's true. We sometimes cannot Predictions even, about the past a little bit easier. Also true. Yeah. Um, but AT&T is going to shut down the network. If you have to use AT&T, this isn't for you. If you can use a T-Mobile network or you're outside the U.S., you can use GSM. GSM is worldwide. It's kind of nice. You don't have to, like, worry about your region. Um, it's less expensive, and it does use a little bit less power. So that's the 2G. Um, we also have 3G. There's two versions of the 3G. There's one version that's North America and Australia, and there's one version that's basically everything, but sorry, there's one that's North and South America and Australia, and one that's, you know, Europe, Asia, uh, Africa, and anywhere else that is not North America, South America, and Australia. Um, check the country list on each product page, of course, because uh, I'm an American, I don't know geography. Um, but basically, you will have to choose one or the other, because the the... Cellular module can only do one set of frequencies. It, it doesn't do quad band, it, always, it only does dual band. 
Um, however, for those, you're going to be using 3G. It's a little bit more expensive, uses a little bit more power, but you don't have to worry about there being a shutdown of the service for like at least 10 years, I, I believe. It's, it's a long-term uh, plan. Eventually, it will be supplanted with LTE, but that's not going to happen very soon. Um, so you decide which you want, a little bit less expensive, less power, you know, have to use T-Mobile, or 3G, you're stuck with one location only, it's a little more expensive. Uh, all trade-offs. However, once you've decided which electron you need, you also get all these other parts. Can you go to that first photo? Yeah, I can go to anything. It's a little complicated, but I think it's worth it. You want this time. one? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to... And can you... Uh, Ooh, yeah. You also get uh, this weatherproof enclosure, you get a USB cable, you get a, a rechargeable battery, you get some components, you get a cellular antenna, and you get the asset tracker board that the particle plugs into. There's no soldering required. You can uh, attach it into that box, and you get GPS um, with a backup uh, coin cell, so you can, um, even if the cellular network is down, you can hmm. use the GPS and get some data from it. And then... Um, That's neat, because sometimes you can't get a GPS fix and sometimes you can't get a cellular fix, right, so but you, you can get some type of location. You can get something. I like backup plans. It's always good to have a backup plan. Yeah. You never know what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, like you said, predictions are hard to predict. Especially about the future. Especially about the future. Uh, and then you also get this awesome sticker for Particle. Anyways, I wanted to give them justice for the, the awesome design they did. That's why I spent the extra time on it. Did you but. say justice because we were watching all your base the other night? For great justice? Yes, for great justice. Yeah. I wanted to... Um, all your base. 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 This is going to go in the new product video. Everyone who is buying oh, this right. product this is, is, is this going to hot mic. have to listen. Hot mic. I think we're done here. Okay. You want to go on to the next one? Yes. All right. Next up. Power board. Okay. So uh, we're getting a bunch of particle things in. This is not for the electron because the electron already has battery charging. This is a power board <coughs> for um, the particle core. Oh, I hope we got that word right. Hold on. Now I'm a little paranoid. Is it? Do you have a favorite on a really? Do you have a favorite particle in physics, the universe? There's one that's named after um, MIT, technetium. Technetium. Yeah. Wow, I like quarks, and there's like uptons and downtrons. I like I like the up up dogs. <laughs> yeah, up dogs. What's up, dog? Yeah. Uh, okay, so this is for use with your um, particle photon, also known as the spark core. Uh, this is the previous version, and this is a power shield. Now, they used to have, the reason there's a little mustache is they used to have a little mustache board. Um, well, it's true. That's cool. Yeah, I can show it on the overhead. Now, let me zoom I'm in. learning all sorts of new things. Tonight. Yeah, I know. Things I never knew. Yeah. And there's some things I don't want to know. Always stay educated. Uh, always be learning. Is that what that teacher said? That's what that said? teacher said. Always yeah. be learning and always be sharing. Yeah. Uh, so this is your uh, particle photon. It's got, you know, this is the Wi-Fi version of that electron we showed you. It's got a, um, a uh, Wicked plus STM32 chip with the antenna stuff. But you're like, oh, man, I really wish I could, like, solar power this or battery power it. Like, it doesn't, unlike a feather, it doesn't have a battery port on it. So what you would do is you'd use this little pass-through board. And right now it's charging. I'm going to disconnect the charger. And, um, yeah, it's got that mustache, too, as, as a callback to the previous design. And... This just plugs right in. Oh man, I hope I plug it in correctly. Now I'm a little paranoid, but I believe it plugs in this way. Well, we'll see. Maybe blue smoke will come out. Just because no, you're paranoid right. doesn't mean they're not after you. Um, so now, you know, the, the, the particle is, um, is blinking blue because it's connecting to the Wi-Fi. You can uh, power off a battery and still use it in a breadboard. You know, these are used stacking headers and it comes fully assembled. And then yeah, you can charge the battery through USB or through your, you know, solar panel like they said or some other charging a bigger battery or whatever this is a 7 to 20 volt max input so this is a kind of nice charger nice work All right so that's the power power right. shield i don't know what they're called exactly okay power up. thing ready power shield yes speaker fat okay so we we did our tour tour the particle and there'll be more particle products next week now we're on to the Pi Maroni Power Hour. I like their silks. They have amazing silk screen. Look at that. It's a little boom box. Look at that. That's awesome. Super cute. Super cute. This is the speaker fat. <clears throat> um, it's a 
add-on. It can be used with any Raspberry Pi, but it is Pi Zero shaped. And because it's Pi Zero shaped, it sort of lends itself well to use with a Pi Zero or Zero W. Works with both. And um, this little, I, I'm, I'm just addicted to calling them bonnets, but they're, this is a fat, this is a Pi Maroni hat. It, um, it adds fat a, bonnets. It's a fat bonnet. It adds a speaker and it adds these cool LEDs. So let's check it out on the overhead. Yeah. To the overhead we go. Okay, so this is the speaker box. This is your, this is your Pi Zero, and then yeah, you can just plug it right in, uh, and it comes as um, this is like again, it's totally beautiful. Look I like at that that gold. It's a nod to the past, but then there's going to be so many young people they're that gonna be learn like, about. What is this? They're going to be like, what's a cassette? What is it this? It also looks like a little robot. Yeah, <laughs> and it's got these little speaker holes. Um, so underneath, it has an I two S uh, speaker. Driver, it's got an 8 ohm, 2 watt little mini speaker. I like the speaker. You solder the wires on. You can also customize it. It has a little attachment point. And then this is a um, LED driver. There's um, LEDs. It's, they're a little tough to see, but they're little white LEDs. And then they actually bounce off of this header, and you can see them from above. So you can have like a VU meter, or you could customize it for whatever you like. And then, yeah, this is kind of a, a cute little silk screen. Really adorable. Love their silk screen. It's made me want to have better silk screen on our devices. That's why we did a better job on the Joy-Bond. And I'm like, you know what? Like, yeah, like, why not have, like, a fun silk screen? If you have all that space. Okay. And now the star of the show, besides you tonight, Lady Ada. And my hammer. <clears throat> yeah. Hammer headers. Hammer headers. Also from Pi Maroni. Uh-oh, uh-oh. There's a hammer header. Uh-oh. What's interesting is I actually have seen these headers <clears throat> before, but I didn't think of them for use with the Raspberry Pi Zero. They're, they're also, I've, historically, I've found them to be tough to install, but um, with this um, very ingenious jig, problem solved. So if you have a soldering <coughs> iron, I always suggest soldering headers in. It's a mechanical, electrical connection. It's very good. However, on the off chance you're at a school or you just don't have the dexterity or manual skill or capability to use soldering irons or some schools just can't or some workshops just can't <coughs> can't not allowed that's fine you can <coughs> use this it's it's a technique um it works pretty well i thought i would try doing it live which will might end in tragedy but might also end in joy <coughs> okay so what you do actually i'll, I'll kind of undo this a little bit so you get this jig together hold on let me undo you can't unbreak eggs but you can un Hammerhead. Oh man, this actually kind of tough to. Okay, so I, yeah. I inserted this so it's tough to remove. But you basically put these screws through, and then um, and this kind of gives you a nice um, solid. You know, it's flat. It's it's flat against the the circuit. Uh, sorry, the circuit board. So it's flat against this um, plastic. And then there's like a little cutout here, and that cutout means that when you push the hammers through, it doesn't like hit the table. It, it goes. It has a little bit of a cavity. And then these headers. I'm going to zoom in because this is pretty cool. Yeah. <clears throat> Check this out. See, there's these little nubs. Yeah. It's like little eyelets. When you hammer them in, they'll squeeze through and then they'll pop out, you know, and they will. Um, and they're in. They're in. They will attach <clears throat> into the hole, basically. They'll, they'll, they'll grip onto the sides of the, of the hole. And so far, you know, people have said that it works pretty well. Okay. So you put the hammer head on. And remember, you can't, it, it, you know, you have to press pretty tight. You can't just like. Do you think do I could press it? But I, no, we're going to do a hammer demo. No, you're going to do a hammer demo. Also, not how I don't, strong I don't want you Phil's to hurt. hands are. It's not that. about strength. It's about you actually have to do it like evenly. And the thing about this is that it, um, mm. you get um, a nice flat surface. Yeah. Do you want to, do you want to back it out and tilt it like this? Yeah. Why don't you do that? Yeah. Thank so you for your this, assistance. Goes this way. So there yeah. you go. So now you can hammer, hammer, hammer. Yeah. Hammer. hammer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oof. Oh boy, a lot of pressure. So kind of give it a hammer. Oh, yeah. It's looking pretty good. I'll tap here. Not, you know, you don't want to slip. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Who's there? Who's there? The truth. Hammer. Truth who? Hammer. Come at you like a hammer. And then a little bit more. How do you know when you're done? When the header is in place. I'm getting there. It, it's going in. You're doing little tiny taps. Well, look, you start out with the tiny taps, and then you kind of work your way up to the... Let's see how I'm doing. Pretty good. Please be sure to wear safety glasses and take appropriate safety measures when you're hammerheading. This one. 
Oops. Okay, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Yeah, and you can see it's like I'm, uh, I just have to hammer like this section a little bit more. That's pretty good. The toughest part is getting the corners, yeah. The corners. I don't know if there's any. Oh, yeah, I hammered too hard. Okay. okay. Well, I broke it, but the good news is I also finished it. Yeah. Don't hammer that hard. It's like a booster rocket to space. Okay. You gotta leave that one behind. Yeah. Okay. And then, yeah, this is pretty good. You know, you can also, like, if you're super careful. You can, yeah, you can do that. You can do this, too. Look, I'm just, I'm just making mistakes that other people can learn from. Okay, now I totally got this. You know there's someone out there with like a collection of little tiny hammers. Oh yeah, I love those little hammers. Yeah. But the thing is you want to make sure that you have um, a good distribution. So anyways, uh, hammers, hammers, or headers are hammered. <laughs> and then you just remove it and uh, you're good to go. So uh, I don't know, I guess the lesson is just be careful. Yeah. Little taps. We did a... Um, it's okay to take a little longer. We did one show once called This Old Pick and Place <laughs> where we had you like Bob Vila like showing our old pick and place. Yeah. So it's this old Pi Zero. This old Pi Zero. Just making some improvements. Yeah, it works. Right. It looks, it works. Okay, and then also, so here's the deal. So you get this, these two plastic pieces, um, you get these screws, and you also get a uh, female socket version, um, which is a little easier to insert because it's got a lot more like density to it. Like you don't have to worry about bending the pins. And um, you can use it the same way you put your you know, bonnet in it and you, and you hammer it in. Um, so this way you have, if you have like a, a, a hat or a bonnet that needs soldering on the other side, um, you can do that as well and you have a full mm -hmm. kit. All right. So this is pretty cool. That works like really it. well. I like it. Way better than I expected. I do think for especially um, young makers in workshops and, and that, like having some hammering skills is also part of the, the maker experience. Yeah. Yeah, like if I, if I plug this in, you know, it's solid, like it's not coming out. Also, you get all these tools and they just sit in the drawer sometimes. You gotta take them out. Yeah. All right, well, that's the. It's like uh, a Disney movie. Like, the hammer's like, come on, play with me. That's the hammer headers. Okay. Guess what, Lady Ada? Yeah. That's it. That was new products. You did it. Well, this is the one that Danny did, and it's <coughs> like perfect. You did it. <laughs>